What's up, everybody? Back in with another episode of The Sims 4. Now, listen, I got a whole new household. I don't know if it's time to get them in here yet, but it's going to be a new household. I'm going to show them to you in a minute. I just want to show you all real quick. I was able to get me a flat screen. I finally, oh, damn, only got $8. I finally saved up enough money to get me a flat screen, though. And uh, that's about it. Oh, no, that's not it. I also pulled out these bedrooms. So you see here, I pulled out both the kids' rooms because I was just feeling like at the end of the day, like they're going to need bigger rooms. They're not about to leave this house for a minute. So they need bigger rooms. So I just basically pulled this out and then put the two big windows in there. So I think that looks great. You can see the outside of the house. I kind of made a little bit of adjustments, nothing too crazy. But this is coming... This is coming along nicely, man. Like, honestly, it might just be ready to go ahead and start stacking them in a minute. Because I don't think that I'm going to change too much. I might pull this out one just to even it out. But I don't even know if I need to do that, to be honest. So, basically what I did off camera, this is the exciting part. Now, I got a whole new storyline. Because I told you, my sons is going to need girlfriends, right? They only infants right now, so they don't need them at the moment, but they will. So we got to do another rags to riches. Now, what I'm thinking is I made two different households. So we got, now I took some of these from the gallery and then just kind of made them my own. So this household right here. Now, the storyline between this household is the OG, the OG Cletus, this OG Cletus right here. I got him from the OG Cletus is a homeless dude. He been a homeless dude since 1976. You know what I'm saying? He been homeless for a long ass time. Ooh. But you know what? He cool with it. He ain't tripping. He make the best out of it. That's why I gave him the Recycle Disciple, loves the outdoors and loyal. He a good friend, good dude. He just homeless and it is what it is. He got a dog. His dog is not Sam homeless, but uh, let's name him Skippy. Skippy homeless. <laughs> let's give him an actual last name. Skippy, Skippy Rough Rough. That's his dog's name. Skippy Rough Rough. And Skippy Rough Rough is Sam's dog. I mean, is uh, Cletus's dog. Cletus is funny because I, I don't know if y'all are old enough to know, but all that. Remember when Keenan and Kale would play Cletus? Mm -hmm. Was it Cletus and... Damn, I didn't... Cletus and Clay? Cletus and Clee? Me and Maeve has been working with wood ever since 19th out seven. Mm -hmm. I built my first house by myself in 20 minutes. So sit your butt down. Good name, Cletus. Got a dog name. Skippy Rough Rough. Skippy Rough Rough is dirty as hell. He got, you know, he's just dirty. He's a white dog he found. He's dirty. He's been living with Cletus this whole time cute little dog though you know what i'm saying so i made him look kind of dirty and stuff but i grabbed this girl off the shop off the whatever they call it the, the gallery this girl here now she's pregnant supposedly now i don't know how that works out but when you go up in, in here and you type in homeless it's so many homeless pregnant teens it's like this must be a thing that they do because there's so many homeless and pregnant most of you do popular now or no most popular popular now or most popular it's a lot like here we go here pregnant homeless teen homeless pregnant teen pregnant and homeless pregnant and homeless homeless to rich oh that's a normal homeless pregnant pregnant teen right here so it's a lot of pregnant teens and i was thinking i'm like yo that would kind of be a cool storyline even though she don't look pregnant no more do she hopefully she's still pregnant but supposedly she gonna give birth to triplets that's gonna be crazy so my whole storyline is that she's homeless she found cletus cletus was like oh yeah you know what i'm saying it's cool i've been living out here i'll help you out why you help you get on your feet blah 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 allison lyle is gonna be living with cletus for a minute now whether or not cletus fall in love with allison whether or not they take care of the babies whether or not who knows who what but her children will probably be the girlfriends of my children when they get older if she's still pregnant which i hope she is so i thought that'd be kind of a cool setup but i did that's not that's not it that's not it because we made a new lot where the train station used to be is an abandoned homeless shelter area which i got off the the, uh, the gallery it's dope uh, i have to show y'all that in a minute that's where cletus is gonna live because clean cletus is gonna be kind of set up a little bit but it's still gonna be rags to riches then we got this person here they say cute girl pretty base but that's just because i got her off the shop not too much with her it's just another person she's got more um evil traits so she got like the romance she want to like mess up people relationships 
She clipped though And she's recycling We're gonna do rags to riches With her at zero So that'll be fun She gotta have them Clip though traits Cause that comes in handy And a recycling one too uh, We got my family But then I wanna show y'all Where I put them So I put them both In the same spot I'm at The harbor But this is the new This is the new spot This is my favorite spot This is where Cletus Gonna chill up at This is where Cletus Gonna be held up at And basically It's a tractor trailer Oh let me make it daylight So it's a tractor trailer house you see here you know what i'm saying i've i moved it around a tiny bit but this is pretty much straight off the gallery i threw the sleeping bag out there just that real homeless feel now what i'm contemplating is do i want to start zero nothing because it's almost like cletus been homeless a long time this has been cletus's spot for a long time and see inside this tractor trailer we have a little hold up in here so this could be like a spot cletus been living for 60 years 50 years 30 years you know what i'm saying he got on a little spot in here so it might not be as rags to riches as starting a fresh rags to riches but it'll still be a cool storyline and have some new characters and still have like the homeless feel going i put this car out here too because that's another thing one thing that i added i added my eyelashes I added my artwork and I added my cars. So that's all we got. We don't have nothing else because the cars kind of give a little vibe. Um, not all the time, but like, you know, it, it really kind of sets off the, the scenery when you see a car. So I put the cars back in here. Plus, they won't really make the game run that slow anyway. So I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments if you want Cletus to be. Well, I think Cletus is going to be here regardless. We're going to put Cletus here. I'm just not sure if Cletus is going to be as homeless as i was where he got zero dollars because it's like you know it's like his 20th 15 20th year being homeless so he got like more accumulated but the other girl i was thinking about putting her here there's another spot i got from the gallery the gallery be coming through though like i don't know if y'all use the gallery but the gallery be coming through mostly when you don't have no custom content so this spot in the gallery is really dope because it's like you can tell it almost looks like the last of us it's so like abandoned and beat up so i was thinking about starting with that other girl here except this place does have a bed it does have a tv like you know i don't know though this is a rags the riches series but at the same time like i kind of want to start at least at a spot where they're like this is abandoned bathroom like look at this this is a whole vibe in here though with the with the graffiti that's what i'm saying like you can't really beat some of the stuff these people have done so i'm not sure i'm not sure how i want to play it out but i definitely think that we're gonna keep this homeless kind of down bad living a thing for a while damn this is all blocked up how do you even get in here you gotta just kind of get through a side fence or something because it's this is all fenced off i don't even know that's kind of interesting look at that they even put the bike up in the chain fence that's what i'm saying people have gone crazy with some of these they're very very nice looking i might just have to move one of these little fence pieces out though like take one out like that and then that's where you'll come in at i don't know we'll see when we actually put the sim in there but that's my plan though that's my plan i kind of want to put cletus in them in there now because cletus cletus a cool character you know what i'm saying Cletus got his little dog. He got a hell of a backstory. But this girl's supposed to be pregnant, though. Let me just see something real quick. Let me see something real quick. I don't think they would have reset bean, that. Obi. I don't think they would have. But let's just make sure. So this girl, let's see. Cletus, let's just pretend. We're going to put these people in here. Merging would exceed my... Oh. How would that exceed maximum? That's only six people. Oh, and they give birth. All right, let's just say this girl right here. She had a girl and a boy for anyone who wants to know. Not pregnant, don't download. Yes, she is. Okay, let's just download it, right? Put her in. Uh -huh. She looks pregnant. So that means this girl isn't pregnant. Allison Lyle. Why the hell? I still want this storyline regardless. So if we got to download another pregnant girl, we will. Allison Lyle. I'm sure if I scroll enough, I'll find the exact girl I saw. I didn't do too much scrolling. She was by her. Oh, there she go right there. Homeless mom. She gives triplets. So when I throw her in, now she's pregnant. Okay. So I don't know what happened, but that didn't work out like it was supposed to. This is supposed to be the pregnant teen. And then I made her eyes brown. Just made her eyes brown. And that was it. I don't even think I changed changed her trait. She's cheerful, family-oriented, and a bro. What is a bro? Bonshot Clotazoid. 
<laughs> okay, well, yeah, so that's that's good then. We're good right there. I'm gonna throw her in though with Cletus. Now, it does have her pregnant right now, so let's go ahead and move her in. Should we move her in right now? Oh, you know what? This is still a bar. Hold up, let me change this to residential. I gotta change this to residential. I'm gonna be playing this game called 60 Seconds, and I'm gonna also be playing this game called No Exit 8 or Exit 8. I'm gonna be playing both of them. I got both of them from the homie Queso, man. <laughs> I never heard of them games before I seen him. They look fun, though. They look very fun. All right, so let's take the Phillip family. Let's move them into the lot. We're going to move them into this lot. Furnished. Everything is normal. And then we're going to take their funds down to zero. So it's still going to be rags to riches, but it's not going to be like a whole new series. And this is the biggest deal in the world. It's not going to be that. But it is going to still kind of coincide with the with the uh, the normal rags to riches where we got homeless people and we got rags and we're going to go from rags to riches. It's kind of perfect because it looked like she just arrived here <laughs> like she just got over here and cletus been waiting on her this is this is a good little story right here cletus looked like that dude from walking dead remember him uh lee was it lee no nah, that was the main dude what was the dude damn y'all probably know what i'm talking about if you play walking dead the, the telltale walking dead i'm trying to think what was his name he was the farmer dude i think i'm gonna start doing stuff like this because i kind of like that when i was editing when i was editing and i um just look stuff up i like that walking dead telltale make you make it feel like a real stream characters char actors that's how i learned how to spell wow that's some great spelling right there this dude what was his name what the hell was his name it's like i know it, it this is him right here like you can tell right there what was his name though y'all this was lee i think that was clementine damn i do not remember his name i gotta find it now here we go herschel sean kenny kenny was his name Cletus look like Kenny Lightweight, just like a dark version of Clint Kenny. Yeah, so this is cool. So Allison just was walking down the street. She homeless. Cletus came out, said, hey, you know what I'm saying? You all right? You look pregnant. You're in a bad situation. All this, all that. I got me a little spot that we can, uh, that you can stay in. And this is Cletus's house. Now, Cletus don't really trust this girl all like that, but he probably ain't gonna make her sleep outside and she pregnant, even though I do have a sleeping bag outside. But uh, yeah, so let's take their money down to zero. Cause money, cause Cletus might have some stuff, but he ain't got no bank account. He ain't got no money stashed up. He just accumulated items. So it's still rags to riches. So let's have them meet each other. Let's just do a little introduction, you know what I mean? A friendly, let's do a friendly, uh, a friendly small talk. How you doing? How's your day? Let's just start it with that. You know what I'm saying? Sam is a hunter. They enjoy going out to hunt and dig. Who is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, soon a nip nub. But Tanavi scances, Domi Bayen. Okay, they get a little chit chat in there. She's gonna try to brighten her day, you know what I'm saying? Just like some real casual, nice guy type stuff, you know what I mean? Like nothing crazy. And they're gonna basically start their little life together, and Cletus is gonna take her in. Then the babies are gonna be born, and Cletus is gonna be basically a daddy of three. But you don't never know if her and Cletus is going to hit it off or she going to go on about her way and be homeless on her own after she gives birth. We don't know that yet. Got to see how the story plays out. See how they get along. But Cletus got a little, you know what I'm saying? He got a little situation going. Look at Cletus. Look at Cletus. Look at his spot. He like, yo, this is my crib. This is where I be staying at. Why don't you come in and take a seat? <laughs> Got to get a picture of Cletus in his environment. Where's the other girl at? Okay, she over there playing with the dog. I would have her sleep outside because that's Cletus's house. But it's kind of unrealistic because if Cletus took her in, do you really think this old man would let this girl, this pregnant, sleep outside? Like, that's not going to happen. Cletus is just going to take a chance on her. And hope she's not a murderer or something crazy. So this is going to be rags to riches, kind of. Not really. Because they're not main characters. they just side characters. They still It's still going to be cool because they're going to end up knowing my people. And we're going to all be friends eventually. But yeah, this lot, though, this lot is perfect. I had to build something or have them build something for me. Basically find something 
that fit because this train being right here and being homeless, that's just like, and I probably use this lot again. Maybe I'll pretend clean is gone. And then we just got access to the sleeping bag. Look at the little dog, man. The dog hella cute. Yo, look at the little, little Skippy Rough Rough. Skippy Rough Rough over here going crazy. Damn, he just killed a mouse. He just killed something. Damn, he fighting something in there. A bird, something. What was that? Oh, Sam has been sprayed by a skunk. How is his name Sam Homeless again? I thought it was Skippy Rough Rough. <laughs> Skippy Rough Rough is his name. I don't care. He looks so dirty. Yo. That's so. It's so realistic how dirty he looks, even when he's actually clean. So one thing I definitely still want to get rid of. What is this, though? What kind of toilet is this? This is a see-through loo. Personal recycling. Why not do it atop? Okay, so this is like a recycling bin. Simply put, doing your business anywhere else would be nobody's business. Okay, so if we have to have a toilet. Do I want a toilet, though? He could have a little recycling toilet. Why, why not? You could have him a little recycling toilet. Cletus got him a cool little setup right now, though. This girl, I don't know when she's going to give birth. I've never downloaded a sim off the gallery that was pregnant before that's a first we don't know what the kids gonna look like we don't know anything so that's gonna be interesting it should be soon too but we gonna need to get them a job aren't we because i mean you can't be zero dollars forever still rags the riches you ain't got no money you ain't got no eats you ain't got no eats you a die they both need to find some kind of work so now cletus what could cletus do cletus is an old homeless dude so he's been out in these streets for a minute he ain't gonna be doing nothing crazy like no business person or he gotta do something that's like that fits cletus now maybe something like an entertainer would fit because think about it remember that dude with the golden voice Y'all remember him. He was homeless. Got an opportunity. So Cletus could maybe be an amateur entertainer. You see what I'm saying? Maybe a musician. Maybe he can do that little singing thing. You know what I mean? I think that's a good one for Cletus. A little entertainment. For uh, Allison. Uh, Allison is a young girl. She's like a young adult, like 19, 18, 19 years old. And she's pregnant with triplets and homeless. But she had dreams to become... You know what I'm saying? Like, what if she had dreams to become? Like, maybe she had dreams to become a lawyer. She had dreams to become social uh, social media. Nah, she had dreams to become a retail employee. Those are some crazy dreams. I mean, that's the simpler life, though, man. I'm telling you, like, we got so big now. Everybody want millions of dollars and billions of dollars. But like back in the day, people was happy having a job at like Target. Like, I got a good job at Target. It's crazy. Like our standards have gone up so much, but her dreams are to become an interior decorator. I always wanted to do this career because I feel like it would be fun to do. Let's do it. Let's do her dreams to become an interior decorator because that'll give us motivation to like plan this household, even, you know, like another main household. It's kind of cool, though, that they got stuff in here. So it's like a house, but it's such, such a homeless vibe that it's like, damn. So they're going to just basically chit chat, get to know each other a little bit, you know what I'm saying, become friends. They're going to become real good friends because they ain't got nobody else to talk to. Could light a little campfire, maybe. Why not? Just hang out around the fire. Look at my boy Cletus. Cletus out here. Oh, damn, bro. You doing a fire dance? Wow. I was about to say, do not kill yourself, Cletus. Come on now, bro. We don't want to have another situation. Change fire color. What the hell? You could change the fire color? Damn. That's super unrealistic, but it's kind of cool at the same time. I wonder why they let you do that. It seems like such a weird thing to do. Look at the little dog, man. You can't tell me that little dog ain't cute as hell, though. This little dog is hella cute. He's dirty and nasty, but you know what? He's Cletus's best friend. Does he have a dog bowl, though? Yeah, they do. Can't fill it up, though. That's another reason why we need money. We ain't got no money to eat ourselves. We ain't got no money to feed our dog. We can't let the dog die. And we about to have three kids? Hell no. Nah. If she actually gives birth to triplets. I mean, that's what it said, but, like, you never know. What the people say is actually what happens. Let's see what this toilet look like. Oh, you can't use it. So the toilet is just for show anyway. We might as well, well, we ain't gonna get rid of it because then they gonna have money. So this toilet don't even work. It's just for show. You pretend it's a bucket and the bucket is over full. The bucket broke. Who is this dude? He look homeless too. All these damn homeless folks, yo. This is kind of clever though, man. It really kind of puts you in the light of a homeless 
person. Because, I mean, everybody that's homeless ain't just cracked out. Some people just ain't got no place to go. So it's kind of like makes you think about like, damn, man people out here trying to make it like out here sitting on the damn coolers just kicking it damn look at that (laughs) that's dope yo they're really out here just kicking it with each other she kind of cute though to be a gallery sim that i just grabbed off the box i said grabbed off the box grabbed off the uh the item shop the gallery she ain't bad with a little makeover she might be one of the top ones that i do so hopefully her kids is good so then my kids would be good we have we have even more action going. I kind of hate the fact that this house isn't just on the first level, though. I know they had to do that because they put these little fake tires under here to make it look like a trailer. It's kind of annoying. I might end up dropping it down. How did y'all eat food? You ain't got no money. Cletus must have had some cereal left over. Oh, it looked like it's voting day. Vote on. Oh, voting is currently closed. Never mind. You know what I'm going to do? Real quick, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make some adjustments real quick. Let's have them sit together over there. Yeah, because I'm gonna make some adjustments. This is how the lot came, but I'm gonna make a couple adjustments. We're gonna still keep them at zero dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and take these tires. I mean, we could still use them for like decor or something, maybe, or maybe not. I don't know. Not looking like it. Yeah, we gonna we could use them as decor. Let's just stick like right there, a little truck tire, or whatever. That's cool. The rest of this dough can go. Something like that. Maybe we throw one, you know, right over there. Maybe throw a big one like over here with a little one in the center. Done. Cool. We're going to get rid of these steps because I just I don't really I like the idea, but I hate the fact that this is up and down constantly. We're going to get rid of the steps. We're going to get rid of this little piece right here. We are going to drop this house down. OK, now where's the ground at? Is that the ground? How do we move this down? Because it's like it's technically on the second floor. So you'd have to move it. Go down. one. There we go. That's how we do it. And then we want to move it where it's like right. Let's just put it. Let's just put it here. That's not like I wanted it to be at all. Hold up, man. Hold up. I think I messed up because I pulled it pulled it down. So we got it up. <laughs> Everything inside is gold now. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We messing up, y'all. We messing up. What happened? This whole thing is messed up now. Some of this stuff is buried underground. Oh, shit. I just messed up the whole thing, y'all. Yo, I think I glitched up the game. I think I glitched up the game, y'all. Looks like a tornado hit, and guess who lost their trailer? Cletus. Why is this not doing nothing no more? Oh, damn. I think I messed it up, y'all. I think I messed it up. Let's see if I can find this place again, because I'll just download it again. That was the perfect little spot, too, and I just glitched it up. This is it right here. If y'all wanted it, this is where I got it from. Mandy K77. Furnished. Drop it in. But I do kind of like the storyline that uh something happened and he lost the trailer. Then it would really be rags to riches. I think I'm breaking the game. I'm not going to lie. I think I broke the game. We're going to wait a second, but I think I might have broke it. We might have to... To cut this off and start over we might just had to start over we might just had to start it over you don't really want to start it over we just might have to start it over we just might have to restart it we might just have to start it over because this game look like it's frozen we just might have to start it over. We just might have to start it over. Cause it looked like the game is frozen. It looked like the game is frozen. Cause I froze the game. Man, this game is lame. They all the same. They know my name. We're going to have to start over, y'all. We're going to have to just start it over. It look like we got started over. We got to start it over. Shit got hella frozen. And we had to start it over. Shit got hella frozen. Wrist stay hella frozen. Neck stay hella frozen. Even like the Sims is frozen. Even like the Sims is frozen. Shit got real, it's over. 
And now we gotta start it over. We gotta start it over. Shit got real, it's over. And we gotta start it over. I didn't wanna start it over. But we gotta start it over. I didn't want to start it over, but I had to start it over. Bitch had to start it over. Bitch had to start it over. Didn't want to start it over, but that game is frozen. Neck, wrist, stay on frozen. Ain't even stay on holding. I ain't even trying to hold you. Next day, hella frozen, like the sands is frozen. Then we starting over. Then we starting over. Next day, hella frozen. Gang glitch, damn, it's frozen. Hell nah, that shit go hard though, I ain't gonna lie. I need one of them producers that just like, you know them producers that make songs out of like little clips? Like when they did Corey Kenshin switch the colors and like, I just ran across a dude that did one that I need a max win. I need somebody like that that knows me that can help me out with that type of shit because it'd be so many things I say or like little clips that's like, damn, that would be dope if that turned into a song, but like, I don't know how it turned into a song. It's just like a little hook or something. But all right, let's get back into what I was doing. I'm disappointed, man. My damn, my damn whole, the, everything we just did is gone. But that's okay, though. That's okay. We didn't do that much. I just wanted to take this house and get it off the floor. That's all I wanted to do. But now I'm thinking about it. And the more I think about it, the more I kind of just want to start a whole nother rags to riches series inside of this series. Yeah, it is um, part of the same thing. At the same time, I think it would be fun to do it just as hard this would be even harder the crutch okay so if i move this here still puts it in the ground why why does it put it in the ground you know what let's just delete it let's just delete it because i'm not taking that chance again with um with the game freezing so it's, it's gone man it's deleted it's gone maybe it was the way it was designed i don't know but everything is gone cletus cletus just lost his damn trailer storyline update here we go in the middle of the night, when Cletus and Allison was gone, a group of bandits or a different group of homeless folks came and towed his damn trailer away. Just that simple. Storyline update. So now everything Cletus owned is gone. And all he got is one sleeping bag, a cooler, and a pea bush and the stove. We still got a little bit more than my dude had when he started, but the trailer's gone, man. The trailer's gone. Now, how do we make that feel even more realistic? We take the tool, we take the tool, and we drag these dark marks. Yep, that's right. We've been hella realistic with our stories. We take these dark marks and we drag it because what happened was the trailer hit the ground and dragged on the corners. So it dragged. You see what I'm saying? It had all kind of drag action going and not the queen kind. You know what I'm saying? You got some drag action going. They dragged his damn trailer right on out of here. So now Cletus has nothing except the few items that he had out here. As a matter of fact, we can even, we can pretend like they raided his whole thing. They took his sleeping bag because that is something that would be valuable to somebody. They took his cooler. They didn't take the bush and they didn't take the stove because it's full of coal. They took his stool. They took his washboard. They took both his stools and they took his bike. They robbed Cletus, man. So that's all Cletus got. Cletus got nothing now. Only thing he has is this little thing to cook in because I feel like robbers wouldn't be able to take that. Bandits wouldn't take that. So he still keeps that and he still keeps the pea bush. But other than that, I like that. That's a good storyline right there. And we got to set this to residential again because everything is not saved. Did I save that? I swear that better fucking save. It's saved, right? Yeah, okay. Residential. Cool. So then we're going to take Cletus. We still got to do this again. My bad, y'all. Y'all rocking with me. I'm rocking with y'all. But I got to fix this because fortunately, you saw what happened. Let's type in homeless. You know, I didn't realize so many people. I had saw on TikTok. 
that people was talking about how people treat homeless people, how bad they treat them and like what it say about your character. I didn't really think people treated homeless people that bad. Like, are people really that evil to think that homeless people don't have like, you know what I'm saying? Like they people too, bro. They people. But see, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a humanitarian. I'm an empath type dude. So, you know what I'm saying? I feel for everybody because I feel like that with the police and shit. Like, I don't look at the police. I look at a person doing his job. I don't look at the teacher. I look at the teacher, the person doing their job. So it's like I see the person in everything. So just because somebody homeless, I wouldn't think of them any less than a normal person. Is this the same girl? Homeless mom. Yeah, this is it. Uh, Yeah, man. I mean, I'm going to be I'm going to be skeptical of everybody. But that's everybody, though. I don't give a damn. If you look kind of weird, I'm going to be a little skeptical. Go make her eyes brown just because I know it's kind of dumb, but we doing it anyway. We got to change Sam's name. What was his name? Skippity Rough Rough? -a -d. <laughs> You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. Skippity Rough Rough. You know what was funny as hell? Just to show you the difference between black and white content creators sometimes, or like, I hate to say black and white, but like the people that know the black shit and the people that know the white shit. So when that little thing came out, when the little, you're so skibbity, you're so phantom tax, I just want to be your Sigma, that shit. Well, all the black folks knew what phantom tax was because of phantom. All the white folks had no idea who the hell phantom was. Black folks didn't know what the fuck skibbity was. The white folks knew exactly what Skibbity was, but didn't know what Phantom was. It was just funny. It was like, damn, it's, it's crazy how the two different cultures, as much as everything is the same now, little shit like that is still a slight difference in like what we even understand. Because people didn't know about Phantom all like that, but I knew about Phantom because of A&P. But a lot of people didn't know about what A&P was, but kids did, though. That's why the little kid was saying, you're so Phantom tag. It's becoming more and more like the black and white culture is becoming like just merged. Like everybody knows was hot instantly it used to be a big delay like if it was a dance it would take like a few years for everybody to catch on now it's like it's a dance in a month everybody doing it and like if you young you doing it it's just crazy i prefer that though but it does piss some people off so Cletus, I'm sorry, Cletus, you got to start over, bro. You 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 got you got your shit stole, and that's bad times, man. We are gonna ask about her day, of course, Aww. get to know her again. This dog is hella cute. What kind of dog is this, man? Kind of like this kind of dog. I never thought I would like a dog that looked like that, but he's kind of cute. Not gonna lie. So they're gonna just get to know each other a little bit. He don't have nothing. He don't have a cooler. He don't have a sleeping bag. Wait, let me take this money down to zero again no money they gotta get jobs instantly ain't no playing around now because cletus all the stuff he had he's gone now everybody gotta find a job likes affection damn y'all giving each other affection already she still wants to be an interior decorator and then cletus what did i have cletus become an entertainer yeah cletus gonna be an entertainer cool 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 he go to work in two days. She go to work. This is a gig. Look for gigs. Also, she could just find this whenever she want to. Room renovation. Oh, you got to start here, though. Room renovation. Hold up. I never did this before. Room renovation. Gig payout. $500. Client budget. Client roomies. Gig tasks. Interview clients to find out. Where is this at, though? Client roomies. So do I have to go to the roomies house i don't know what's going on her with her taskbar so do i need to go with the roomies is in willow creek right the roomies or maybe they're not who the hell is the roomies i thought the roomies was the bff family spencer kim oh by the way what happened to the black dude in this family did he die he was the husband or did they get rid of him and get and got a horse instead <laughs> they be changing shit i don't know what they do they didn't change the whole golf family so did they take him out if they did that's hella that's hella like blm in the chat man blm in the chat how you take my boy out the roomy family who the fuck is the roomy family roomies it said client roomies there's gotta be an easier way to find out where you're supposed to be going that i don't know so let's try to find that out it said the client is roomies and how am i supposed to know <laughs> the dog's name is skibbity that shit funny <laughs> I just, I just had to like rethink on that. I named the dog Skibbity, yeah. but I mean, you know what I'm saying? He's so Skibbity, yeah. he's so Skibbity. Where is the roomie's household and why is her thing spazzing out? Listen, that shit going crazy. Why is that doing that? Damn, he just found something. Look, what'd he find? Open that. What is that that he found? 
Duck feather, pigeon feather, pheasant feather. Good job. Good job, uh, Skibbity. Can I sell these? Not here, though. Oh, wait. Drag to sell. Damn. The dog just found these feathers and just made us like $150. What is this? A memory card. Contains copies of Allison's before and after photos. I don't understand how am I supposed to find out where the hell she is going. Gig. Room renovation. Visit client's lot. Get to know the client. So I just got to find out who the roomies are. I don't know who the hell the roomies are. I just got to decide. I just got to find them. That's kind of crappy. I'm not going to lie. Are they on this lot? Tinker, Greenberg. Bruh, this got to be an easier way to do this. Y'all let me know in the comments, but there has to be an easier way to do this. There's no way they expect me to go to every single house. I'm Googling it. Sims for roomies. Okay, that's the family with the little... Where was they? Where do they live, though? Oasis Springs. Oh, they live here. Okay. Yeah, I remember them because I had them all run a train on that girl when we was doing um the OnlyFans videos. Those videos were so good. I'm not going to lie. The roomies. There they go, right there. We bringing Cletus? Nah, we ain't going to bring Cletus. We on the job. We on the job. We can't bring Cletus. We on the job. We can't bring Cletus. Allison kind of cute, though. I ain't going to lie. She kind Kind of look like a little little Middle Eastern action going, a little mixed action going. Okay, so this is the client. So we visit the client's lot. Let me knock on their door. I'm here to do your interior design at 3.40 in the morning. <laughs> Beat on the door like the damn police. All right, I'm here. What's up with you? They say visit the lot. They ain't, they ain't giving me that, that tick, that tag. Where's the clients at, though? Oh, here it is. Interior decorator. Take before photo. But where are we? What are we doing, though? What room are we doing? Man, I'm confused as hell. I ain't gonna lie. I don't want to do this. Wait, visit the client's lot. Get to know the client. Take before photos. There's nobody here. I'm gonna take advantage of this. We're gonna go ahead and take us a little nappy nap because we need to get our bar up. Plus, ain't nobody here. I'm taking a nap. Damn. I did see a comment in the in the video I did the first one that said this is the best career for homeless people because you can sleep in the house. But I didn't think you could actually like just sleep in people's cribs, but it's seeming a lot like you can. This is good for me. But where's the clients? I got to talk to the clients. Damn, look at these lights. I ain't never seen these lights before. Where y'all get these from? Damn. I just peeped these. I gotta get some of these around my house. That's dope or the fence just on the fence that's dope it's funny how much you appreciate the game when you don't play it with mods i'm just chilling in a house and i don't understand why because as far as the job goes i haven't even done anything yet but she's sleeping good we might as well get a full night's sleep go ahead and use the toilet make herself something to eat go ahead and serve some eggs and toast too while i'm at it why not damn she out here in her drawers she just making herself at home in these people's house. Look at this. You got the little buns out. Making some eggs and bacon. This is crazy. <laughs> in the in somebody else's kitchen in your drawers. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. But I ain't mad at it. Damn. Don't just don't set their house on fire. That's like the only rule I got. Don't set the house on fire. Alright, Allison, take it off the pot now. Before you yeah, okay, I'm saying before you burn it up. Don't sit down, get you some food in. You know what I'm saying? Good shit, good shit. Now our mood is perfect. Damn, I should have invited Cletus with me. But where is the clients though? It's just so weird because I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. It just says reputation, get to know the clients, take before photos. All right, well, I don't know what room we should do. Um, let's just do, I mean, this house is pretty nice, to be honest. I wouldn't have went with green and orange couches here, but it's actually not a bad house at all. We could redo this room. Let's redo the bedroom, because this bedroom is kind of lame. All right, so we'll just take a picture of this. Take a picture of this. And then, I guess, just go in build mode. Clients, roomies, the budget. They don't have no requirements or nothing? I guess not. Well, I'm gonna just do something totally different. Why not? I could extend it. Can I extend the room too or nah? Nah, you can't extend the rooms. Yeah, you can't do that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can't extend the rooms, but we could do anything with the windows and all of that. Let's throw some windows in here. I'm gonna throw a little bit bigger windows. I mean, I'm gonna keep it simple. I ain't gonna do nothing crazy. I'm gonna keep it simple, modern, nice, neat. Maybe use black. Black is always a nice little simple color to use. Maybe just make it black and modern. Kind of boring. You know, I used to take pictures for real estate. I got out of it because it just 
kind of was more pain in the ass than it was worth but uh i went in this one dude's house and he was a single dude and it's weird because like sometimes like myself i feel like i come off like real like genuine normal like when i'm out talking to people i don't come off weird you know what i'm saying i don't I don't think I give off that vibe at all because I'm very like talkative and like down to earth type shit. I went in this dude's house. He was like 30 or 40. I don't know. Living by himself. And he had a whole gaming set up, but he didn't have no subscribers. He didn't have hardly any furniture. And it was just like something creepy about this dude. It was like I kind of got the feel of how girls feel when they say dudes can be creepy. Because some of these motherfuckers do come off like they can rape your shit. I'm not going to lie. Like, they do kind of have that energy. And it's like, I don't know exactly why they have that energy, but it's just something a little off about a a dude that's living by himself, doesn't have any furniture. <laughs> we go put a picture of Jerome on the wall. Doesn't have any furniture and just kind of gives that weird vibe. I don't know. It's just, it was a weird vibe. He was bald and he just gave off a strange energy. And maybe it's not about anything about his furniture. Maybe it was just his energy in general was kind of off. It was weird though. It was definitely weird, but I could understand where some of these girls be coming from. I honestly though, if I was a girl, I, psh, I wouldn't be no different. I'd be as picky as I am now. Just uh, a female. Because I'm picky now. Like, I ain't just messing with nobody. Because anybody can set you up. You never know. Can get lined by a bitch. You send five, I'm sitting off six. You know what I'm saying? You never know. What am I doing? I don't know. I'm just decorating in this. I'm just decorating this kind of like to see what happens. I'm really not even sure. Gonna move the door. I spent all your budget on a big ass TV. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that, roomies? How do you feel about me spending all your money on a big ass TV? I mean, it's a good purchase to me. Okay, we can't put that desk in. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that TV in there or not. I just did it. Did it to do it. I might wanna downsize it, actually. We're gonna get him a nice PC. Okay, that's too much money. And then we'll get rid of the TV, but we'll get a different one. But yeah, when I was doing that, that real estate stuff it was cool but like i said it got old quick because it was so much driving i'm not a huge fan of doing all that driving like it's all right but and the money was ass it wasn't like i was making a whole lot of money I and mean, that's what ultimately made me stop doing it because it was like i'm not making enough money doing it and it's taking up my whole day like i would end up doing stuff i would end up doing stuff and it's like the whole day would be gone like i could have spent that whole day recording like I might not make as much money, but at the end of the day, I'm working for my damn self, creating a legacy for myself. You see what I'm saying? Even if, even if it is just on some YouTube shit at the moment, at least it's for me. So I ended up giving, getting rid of the whole situation. This is an interesting wallpaper. I've never used it before. Kind of dark though. It's dark, but it's not bad. It's something different. I'm just trying something different. I don't want to keep using the same thing every single time. Just a cool little bedroom though for a young dude. It's a cool little bedroom. It's, it's, give, it's got a little. It's got a little vibe to it. It's got a little vibe to it. It seemed like it would smell like. Uh, what was that place where all them little tight clothes was at? Hollister. Looks like it would smell like Hollister in here. Client budget is eighty two fifty. Uh, I could buy a little something else. Damn, I could put a fireplace in here. Imagine that. A fireplace in the bedroom. That's kind of lit, though. It's very old-timey, but, like, at the end of the day, it's still a fireplace, though. You can still roast your toes on the open fire. You see what I'm saying? Um, this is not. I'm over what a hundred dollars. I'm over a hundred dollars. Let's get rid of these. Get rid of this. How much we got? I'm gonna put an actual fireplace in here that doesn't look like it's from 1972, and I'm gonna put the fireplace like that. I mean, I don't know. I'm at this point. I'm just kind of playing with stuff. I ain't gonna lie. I'm already over budget. Damn. What put me over budget? The fireplace? All right, get rid of the ceiling fan. I like the ceiling fan, but like, all right, that's good. That's good. How you feel about that? So we did the renovation. Now we gotta take after photo. She's in here in her underwear. We got Jerome on the wall, cause why not? We got a fireplace in here. All right, so we took our before and after photos and now I gotta reveal it to the client. But that's the part about it. How do you reveal it to the client if I never find the damn client? Cause nobody's coming over here. I don't even know them. I can't even call them. Are they like on vacation or something? I'm about to invite Cletus over here. Maybe Cletus can get his, his food and everything up too. And the dog, invite the dog too. <laughs> Look at Cletus, Cletus went right in that room where we just did it, about to jump on the PC. Look at my boy Cletus playing Sim City. Damn. 
Cletus, shit, you about to blow up the whole city like that? You need to keep your ass on the damn FBI watch list. Okay. This is cool and everything, but like, hey, Cletus, get some of this food before it go bad. Get some of this food, bruh. Know what I'm saying? Get your, get your energy up. Get your hunger up. Matter of fact, since you're on that bed, go ahead and take you a nap on that joint. This don't even make sense, y'all. I gotta be doing something wrong or the game is like glitched up some kind of way. There's no way I'm supposed to be just living in these people's house like this. Look at my boy Cletus. Well, shit, she might as well go to sleep too. Oh yeah, she can't sleep next to Cletus. I forgot, y'all ain't that tight yet. You go ahead and go to sleep too then. That is so weird. Should I buy a pet bowl just to feed the dog while we here? I mean, at this point, why not? Might as well buy him a food bowl. I mean, they could use one too if they ever wanted a pet. Get a little, get a little skibbity a damn fruit bowl. I mean, food bowl. <laughs> that picture of Jerome is insane. I'm just saying it's insane. I got me a designing job. Y'all wouldn't know nothing about that. I do this designing thing. Don't throw it on three. Throw it on three. Throw it on three. Fill this bowl up for the dog. Fill and cause skibbity to eat. Come on, Allison. Get up and feed the dog. Get up and feed the dog, man. She really getting a full night's sleep in these people's house. It's just so weird. This is the weirdest career. Starts 9 a.m. on Wednesday. Oh, did I do it too early? And ends at 9 p.m. on Wednesday. Oh, maybe that's why. Fill this bowl before this damn thing is over with. Yeah, put some food in that bowl for my boy. Slut cam. Slut cam. Look at look at oh, look at the sword. little dog. Sword. Look at skibbity. Oh. Look at little skibbity. You know what I'm saying? No pinner Go to the bathroom, Allison. You got like five bathrooms in this house. Use one. Now it's 9 p.m. on Wednesday and it's still going on. So what does that mean? Does that mean that the gig is up? Interior take before photo, take after photo. There's like nothing I can do. After decorating the space, click on the de decorator sim, use the phone or use relationship panel. I did never met them though. I literally never met them. That's so weird because you were supposed to meet them, but I came in the middle of the night. So for some reason they like was outside and then they left. Did I just hack the game? I think I hack the game y'all i might as well go out here and take one before photo because i gotta take one more she's gonna be the before photo yo that's the new clementine they changed them a lot yo i realized that too the other day they made them look totally different i wonder what made them change the sim so much instead of just making new ones now it says i gotta visit the client's lot it's still saying I didn't do that. So maybe before I leave, might as well get some more of this food. Go ahead and make another, make, a, make it something else. Make a, have dinner. Go ahead and make a garden salad real quick. Come on, Allison. Make that garden oh. salad real quick. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Allison just went into labor. Mm -mm. This is not oh. good time. We at somebody else's house going into labor. Go ahead and eat that though real quick. Oh. Go home, have baby at hospital. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's go ahead and eat this real quick and then have a baby at hospital. Let's join Allison, take Cletus to the hospital with her. That's how you do it. You got to have an actual sim go to the hospital, their self, and then have the father join, which seems kind of weird. You would think the father would take her to the hospital, but it's more like she's taking him. About to give birth. That's cool. Let me check your job. So it still say I haven't visited the lot, which isn't terrible. Do we go into tab mode? Let's go into tab mode. Uh, Allison giving birth in, in, in first person view. Look at this. Look at this. First person pregnancy. Uh, Damn. All right, we'll just do it this way. You know, probably in the future, so much is going to change with childbirth. Because, like, everything is so natural right now. That's what I'm trying to say. Everything is so natural right now, and it's like, it's almost as if, if you had a baby boy, it's almost as if humans don't make sense, right? Just because we're the aliens. Did y'all know that? Did you know where to actually the aliens? The first name, she's going to name him Cletus. No, nah, Cleo, 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 Cleo. Named him after Cletus, though. I can't spell Cletus, so it's okay. Because Cleo helped her, took her in. She named him the firstborn after Cleo. Cle Cletus. Boom. Second, another boy. What's his name going to be? Orion. That's kind of dope. Orion. Third is a girl. What's her name going to be? Uh, Let's go with Laura. Laura Lyle. That kind of sounds like a porn name. Laura Lyle. <laughs> Triple play triplets. Cool. So she got three kids and is homeless. That's kind of a dope storyline, though. I'm not going to lie. That's W storyline. And Allison cute as shit. So Cletus might just have to get with that. Three children. All right, Cletus, go ahead and uh, he can't really even do nothing. Is he eating? Buy a snack. Cletus, your girl just had a baby. 
That's not even your girl, so I feel you. Never mind. Eat your snack, bro. Eat your snack. That's not your girl. I forgot. Let me go back to that house, though. So I got these babies. They'll be transferred back to the actual house, which is no house because we're homeless. I need to go back to the roomy family, though, and see if it can register the game like it's supposed to. Because for some reason, it didn't register the first time. Y'all buy anything off the TikTok shop? I never bought nothing off of there before, but I'm kind of tempted because I got this monitor, which support. Damn, they just disappeared. I was doing all that damn chit chatting and they just disappeared. Damn. See, this is why I get for chit chatting. Go back out. Go back out. I got this little monitor here. They had this exact one on TikTok. Everybody's tripping out over it, how good it is. And it is a great little monitor. I was trying to use it to set it up for obs so i can set up my cool little overlays and shit and we could stream when we stream i have everything set up because i had it set up a long time ago but uh i need to redo it because i really do want to start streaming um i just think it would help the channel i think it would be give y'all a cool thing to do it'd, it'd be probably more fun for me because i'm interacting with y'all directly but at the same time right now we're good we're doing videos we've been doing videos for 10 years over 10 years now i've been doing videos for 10 years okay hold up meet somebody meet somebody wait before they disappear friendly introduction friendly introduction something give me something man give me somebody Somebody got to say something to me. Come on. Come on. Don't disappear. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. She talked with the girl, Zoe. That's the one everybody ran a train on on that video. I'm telling y'all, if y'all didn't see it, it's on the OnlyFans. I hope y'all can still subscribe over there. I haven't posted nothing. Sometimes they like to cut you out where you can't. People can't subscribe if you don't post or something. Okay, she met him, though. That was all we needed. She met him. So now I can call the clients back to the lot. There we go. Look, show the reveal photos, show the after photos. Cool. But we just got to be quick when we first get there. Host reveal event, yes. Reveal renovational space. Oh, I actually can go in there and show it off, huh? Well, how am I gonna do that? The clients are waiting for it to be revealed. Well, how can I reveal it if I can't even get in the house? All right, this career is kind of broken. We're gonna end this early because it's just broken. Like, I can't knock on the door and get in the house. Now, can you go in the house? Still can't go in the house. Knock on the door. And the only thing that's not letting me do it, wait a minute, bro, this don't even make sense. So the only thing that I haven't done is go visit the client's lot, but that's impossible because I'm literally on the client's lot. I couldn't have did the other stuff without visiting that client's lot. This don't even make no sense. I just knocked on the door and it still isn't registering Oh, during gig hours. Ooh, maybe that's why I messed up. So I got to wait till next Wednesday or I could just cancel it. Should I just cancel it then? Cause I'm not trying to wait until next next wednesday that's crazy i'm gonna cancel it damn i hate to do that because i did all that work but it's kind of glitched up though all right let's try this again we'll do the prescott's we gotta go there on friday all right so i gotta waste some time until friday at 9 a.m friday at 9 a.m i gotta remember that though friday 9 a.m so basically one day from now where are all the children at oh they all lined up damn bro we ain't got no money and we got babies just sitting outside Cletus, when you go to work, you ain't got nothing to do. Oh, he working two hours. Write jokes and practice music. Damn, I probably should have been doing that. Let's practice. Um, Does practice singing count? <laughs> you sound crazy as shit. Listen to Cletus. La, la, la. Oh, damn. No, no, no. We, ain't, we ain't never making it out the trenches with that voice, yo. We ain't never making it out the trenches. Look at all these babies. This is about to be insane, y'all. It's going to be fun, though. Oh, it's a holiday today? Damn. He can't even go to work today. Damn, I needed to go to work. Well, at least she can breastfeed the kids. We don't actually have to pay. You just got a titty feed. It's cool, though. And diapers don't cost money either, which is good. Let's go ahead and change the dirty diaper on that one. <laughs> it's about to be difficult, y'all. We about to be doing a lot of back and forth. Uh, did you feed this one, too? We got to feed this one, too. Titty feed, titty feed, titty feed, titty feed. Did y'all ever see that video of that dude trying to breastfeed? It was crazy. That was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. That was like from two, three years ago. 9 a.m. on Friday. What is this? Oh, this is a Harvest Fest gnome. Uh, let's appease the gnome. Let's give the gnome a toy. What's up with this damn 
the laundry. I don't have a laundry basket, do I? I don't think I did. Let's move these babies a little closer to the camp, too. We got a hundred and seven. What we got on seventy nine dollars. I don't have enough money for nothing. For nothing. That's all right. That's all right. We're gonna move all the babies up here so they're a little bit safer. That's gonna be our little encampment. It's gonna be up here. Our little encampment's gonna be right up there. We're gonna put the sleeping bag up there. Everything. Skibbity's been bitten by a squirrel. Squirrel bites can cause cause injury. Skibbity, if you got bit by a squirrel, I'm sorry, bruh, but we ain't got no money for your medicine. We kind of living rough right now. Is she sleeping in the bush? Damn, Allison's sleeping in the bush. Damn, we in really bad shape right now. Really bad. Oh, wait, did the dog find some more stuff? Let's open that up. The dog found some more feathers. Hell yeah, let's, um... Let's go in here. The dog gonna come through. Let's go in here. Let's drag these feathers in. The dog made more money than we have so far. Cool, cool, cool. So we got 250. Is that enough money to buy a sleeping bag though? That might be enough. Yeah, we got a little ranger, little ranger sleeping bag. Is this for adults? Oh no, toddlers. Bro, I don't need no damn toddler bed. There we go. The adult bed. There we go. All right. So this is going to be our encampment. We got one 220 though. Why are they 220 though? That's all right. At least we got one. We got one sleeping bag. You need to go ahead and go to sleep anyway. And then Cletus, what you got going, Cletus? All oh, the babies crying. We got to take care of these babies. It's actually a little easier though because they're all lined up and we're all just right outside. So it's actually a little easier to take care of them. Oh damn, they're out in the rain. What you need, Cletus? Yeah, take care of him, and then hopefully put him to sleep. Damn, we got these kids out here in the rain, bruh. This is terrible. You don't think they'll take them away from us, do you? Don't get some titty feeding. Cletus cleaning up the clothes. Where you putting these clothes at, Cletus? But you just throwing them away? Where is he going with these clothes? Oh, he's hanging them up. W Cletus. That's probably why the clothes keep coming out. That's hella realistic. I didn't realize I had a clothes hamper like that or clothes hanger. I mean, I know I bought one, but I didn't know they would actually use it. I should put that over here. That's kind of cool. It makes it feel kind of realistic, don't it? We got all these babies crying. What are they crying for now? Damn. <laughs> She just passed out. I don't even know what they're crying for. What are they all crying for? Are they hungry? Maybe they hungry. Let's feed them all. Let's do the breastfeed all of them. Damn, man. Skibbity keep getting bit by squirrels. Skibbity might not make it, y'all. Hold up. We got to get a... We got a... We just... Oh, Cletus made some money today. He made $184. We got to get Skibbity a damn food bowl. Just a little food bowl for Skibbity. Because he ain't ate nothing. Fill the bowl up. All right, cool. At least Skibbity got some food. We need a little bit more money so we could buy Cletus a sleeping bag. Hopefully the dog. Ooh, look. I was just about to say, hopefully the dog found something. Get some of them feathers, man. The dog is actually kind of a little glitch. 240 for that feather? That's crazy. 240 for that feather. That feather just got Cletus to bed. Skibbity, Skibbity is the goat. I'm not going to lie. Skibbity's the goat. So we got the two beds, the sleeping. I mean, the two sleeping bags. I kind of want to move this over a little different. Yeah, I like that i like that a little better with the clothes over on that side yeah so now that way cletus got him a bag allison got her a bag allison needs to sleep man all she been doing is breastfeeding Cletus, you could take care of the babies for a minute man let allison get some sleep hopefully they sleep though matter of fact i might go ahead and have him sleep right now too let that joint speed up damn as soon as i say that all right change the diaper go to the bathroom in the bush <laughs> this is terrible living but it's, i mean we making it work man we making it work and see if she could go back to sleep why do these deep bruh these babies are insane it's impossible to sleep there we go oh, five seconds and then they crying again yo this is crazy i've never had triplets before at least the dog getting some sleep he don't give a damn about all that they crying damn look at allison man mom of the year y'all mom of the year i'm not gonna lie damn she cannot get to sleep five seconds before waking right back up cletus is burning to death what you mean he's burning to death how is cletus burning to death Death. Cletus is burning to death. Get them inside or cooler clothing soon or face the, face the wrath of the sun. What are you talking about? What is going on? Where y'all running from? That was weird. It's like it's not even... 
They said get Skibbity some food, bro. It's food right here. Call Skibbity to eat. Yeah, there you go. Get some food, Skibbity. Little Skibbity got him a look down. Look at him. He's sick. He's sick as hell. Look at look at Skibbity, man. He got like green stuff hanging out his mouth. I ain't gonna lie, this is harder than when I was doing it. When I did the rags to riches, this is way harder. Cause it's like, I got a dog. I got three babies and another person. This feel like we homeless though. I mean, look at this, man. You can't really get the feel of being homeless no more than this. We got the train yard right there. This is rough times. It just sucked cause people in real life be going through this, man. Can you imagine? That shit is not cool. It'd be nice if I could like help her take care of these babies. But like, as soon as I do anything, they start crying again. Like, bro, what are you crying for? Does this one need food too? <laughs> Look at Allison, bro. This is rough here. I'm not gonna lie. Look at this. Look at Allison, man. This is how <laughs> this is how messed up we are at this moment in this moment in time. This is life right now, yo. This is why her and Cletus gonna be locked in because I mean, if Allison had to be by herself, I don't think she would make it, bro. I don't think she would make it. That's a good angle, though. I'm not. <laughs> it's a nice angle. I'm just saying. Look at Cletus. Cletus being parent of the year over here. He trying, man. He trying. Damn, that almost hit this baby right here. That almost hit Orion, which would have been fitting because Orion is like some space constellations type shit. Damn, Allison just busted her ass on that mud. Run inside. There is no inside. Y'all are literally out here. Unfortunately, you have no inside. Cletus over here playing in the mud. <laughs> that looked crazy as hell, yo. Yeah. Can we get a little bit of sleep? Just a little bit, just a little bit. Try to sleep, try to sleep. Allison, try to sleep. Turn around and go to sleep, at least for a second. Soon as I go to sleep, bro. Like there's no way they're crying every time I go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Okay, we got more than, oh, that was literally 10 minutes. 10 sim minutes. All right, breastfeeding. I always thought it would be cool to have triplets or like d twins, but like, I don't think so. After doing this, I don't think that's a terrible idea. One kid at a time, man. One kid at a time. How to let Allison get some sleep, bro. Oh, you know what? I got to remember. I don't want my household to age up. Dis disable autonomy, auto age, played households. Let's go with no. Auto age, unplayed households. I don't mind them aging up. I just don't want to go back to my house and all of a sudden my dude a grandpa that's something i definitely don't want to do let's see allison ages up in 26 days he ages up in 39 days they age up oh you don't know when the babies age up that's all right though that's all right i almost want to put the lifespan on longer for the adults let's put the lifespan on longer because i think you can manually age them up anyway let's put the thing on longer i'm not gonna turn aging off but i'm gonna just t put the lifespan on longer Cause that means that'll give us a whole lot more time. Cause like that's 107 days. Cause like you never realize how fast 39 sim days go. Like that's not yet that long, man. Look at our living situation right now. She got this job 9 a.m. on Friday. Okay, so I got to go over to the new crib on 9 a.m. on Friday. Now, this is going to give us $540. That's a nice little piece of change. Okay, let's go to work. Let's go to work. Okay, so that's why it does it. So when it's time for the gig, it'll let you know, and then you click it, and then it'll take you to the household that you got to work at. That makes sense. Why is all these babies out here? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we visited the household. Now, get to know the clients. Get to know the clients. Are these the clients? Why is there so many little toddlers over here? I mean, we could say hello to the to the little toddler. Hello, toddler. How you doing? We can go knock on the door. I think this is how it's supposed to be, though. Okay, stop talking to the toddler and go knock on the door. We'll knock on the door. Home designer here, ready to help you out. I forgot her moods are terrible. Come on, Allison, get up, get up, get up. Okay, now we can meet the clients. Let's just go talk to them real quick. Friendly introduction. At least get to know them enough where we can get this stuff done. Say hello to the client. Okay, what y'all looking for? Uh, ask to see inspirations. I'll oh, see this make more sense. Ask to see sim simtress board, discuss decorative trends you want to do, and then talk about. We don't need to talk about nothing else. Okay, Allison is doing something unprofessional. Doing what? She ain't even did nothing. Maybe because she fell asleep? <laughs> Imagine this lady coming in your house stanking like hell, talking about, hey, I'm going to help you out. All right, let's send the clients away. Send the clients away. Yes, yeah, send the clients away. You won't be able to discover any more about the client's likes or daily. Yeah, fine, whatever. I'll head out so you could get started. Good. Get out of my face so I can go 
go use your shower and your bed and everything else. All right, cool. Clients are gone. So now that the clients are gone, we should be able to, so we could do any room we want. These houses are already nice though. Like really, what is there else to do? You see it likes video games. That's cool. But like, what do you really want me to do in this room? Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm about to get my, my uh, Allison just fell asleep again. Come on, Allison, get up. I'm going to let you sleep. Just get up. Use the bathroom. Um, Go ahead and find a bed. Where's a bed at? Give me the most comfortable bed. This bed look like it's the most comfortable. Sleep in this bed. <laughs> this is the most unprofessional stuff you could possibly do. We're going to sleep in this bed. Get us a good little nap in. And then we're going to take a shower, get something to eat. Then we'll decorate the room because we got until 9 p.m. on Friday. So we got we got a minute. We can at least get her to get. Damn, it literally ends in like six hours, though. I just got to take advantage of what I got, man. I mean, like my people out here struggling right now. I got to take advantage of a little bit of time I got. Let's have lunch. Let's make us a little garden salad. Make us a little garden salad. And then she going to jump in the shower too. Jump in the shower. Where's the shower at? Oh, they got a basement. Maybe I could do the ba Oh, I can maybe redo the basement. Instead of a gym, maybe make like a living room. They got $5,800. Maybe I'll do that instead of the gym. Or maybe keep the gym, but like make a little living room down here. That might be a vibe. Go ahead and do that, Allison. Go ahead and get your food in. And then go take a shower real quick. And then we're going to get to it. Go and get that shower in. You got like three hours, two hours. Please just brought home a hundred and some dollars today too that's good get that shower in good times good times matter of fact you could probably sleep for a little bit get you a little sleeping in while i do the designing oh no i can't because i gotta take before and after pictures i want to get the most out of this all right allison never mind sorry but you gotta you gotta get up and take your photos because these people gonna be home in like an hour all right get your before photos we'll do that right there that right there you're supposed to take three i think all right enter build mode and make renovations this is what we gonna have to do we're going to make a little renovation i'm thinking just carpet it up make it feel like the rest of the house that's what i'm thinking they don't even have carpet up here but you know i'm gonna do the carpet i mean it's the basement most people have carpet in their basement let's go ahead and get the nice little wallpaper up why not something like that and then we'll go with like a carpeted type floor let's see just a normal normal is cool little carpet feel we got 5800 so we can move the treadmill like over here the boxing uh would you be mad if i got rid of this they might be mad damn that give us thirty eight hundred dollars oh no they're not mad they just add it to the budget oh well that's cool then so we can actually instead of making this a gym can we delete walls too oh we could delete walls too y'all doors walls all of that okay yeah this is cool this is cool. We'll make this a little nice little finished basement then. Damn, what wallpaper is this? It's kind of nice. Hallway stone? Damn, that's a nice looking wall. I like that. Hallway stone. I've never seen that before. Where is that at? The hallway stone. That's a beautiful stone wall. We're going to use that for the little stairwell and then the back piece. Change them to, yeah, let's change them to white. That'll be cool. You got the little home gym right here. Can we upgrade the home gym? Maybe give them a better one. Something that looks a little bit better maybe give them a better treadmill too why not i don't know how like i don't know how much they care about this type of stuff but we're about to go crazy give them the new treadmill hop on that joint and then we could go with the tvs you can give them a nice big screen go ahead and give them some couch action i'm not trying to spend too much budget is now thirteen thousand though maybe we should spend more because i mean i ain't trying to go too wild with this but we can do a little something this is a nice little sofa. They got a love seat or nah. This be a cool, cool career to like really take your time with though. I'm just kind of rushing it because you know, why am I rushing it? Mostly because I'm trying to, damn, those are nice. I'm trying to hurry up and make money. I ain't trying to take the longest way possible to make money, but this would be a cool career to do it slower. Maybe a little plant action, maybe a little rug action. What about a little rug action? Damn, that's a big rug. Let's minus that a little bit. It'd be cool if i could make the basement a little bigger but that ain't gonna happen right now that is not gonna happen use some nice photos maybe add that maybe one of these i might actually switch the color scheme down here might switch the color scheme that ain't bad though that ain't bad at all what else can we put down here we could bring they 
Oh, yeah, I could put their boxing thing back, couldn't I? Y'all want y'all boxing thing back? Well, we could give you something even better. We can give you the training bot. Give you the training bot. That's even better. Eh, it doesn't look better, though, does it? It looks lamer, to be honest. Let's go ahead and give them the punching bag back. Because this is like a little gym, but it's also like their little family room. So like a little family room gym. That ain't bad. He got a little workshop over here, which I could maybe take what is this hitler on the damn picture <laughs> dude look like adolf i ain't gonna lie he got some adolf action going that's crazy i'll just leave it on the wall why not we at eleven thousand. um this room right here isn't really part of the basement but like we could make it part of the basement i could get rid of this wall but it's kind of cool that that's separate this is a seven hundred dollar statue two thousand dollar statue damn damn this is eight thousand dollars i did not know that seven thousand dollars this is cool as hell. I never seen that before. Some of this stuff is really expensive. I was just trying to find something kind of expensive just to put the budget up. This is cool. Little angel. Oh, I can't get that. Never mind. This is a very lazy, very lazy decorating job. But you know what? It looks better than it did. And I used a house. Now we take the after photos real quick. Don't go back upstairs, Allison. You got a little bit of time left. You don't have a lot of time. All right. Take our after photos. Boom. Boom. Now we can reveal the space to the clients. Do I call them back or do I just wait? Let's see what happens if it if it goes to, well, see, I got, do I take advantage of this and go to sleep for a couple hours? By the time she get upstairs, it's only going to be one hour, but let's get some sleep in. I ain't going to lie though, that basement actually came out kind of nice for the little quick nonsense we did for the five seconds. It actually didn't come out too bad. I probably could change the wallpaper though, but I already took the picture, so it's fine. It's fine. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Now, will the clients? come back at nine o'clock no matter what let's see okay cool so we got till nine no matter what allison has completed the gig and received the following results money 540 professional cool go home oh that's that's kind of dope though that's kind of dope mostly for a homeless person you get the little you get to stay in a crib i'm feeling that I like that. I'm going to actually go ahead and pause this episode here right before we go back to the lot because I know the lot is going to be a mess. Next episode, I think we rocking with them still. I'm going to go back to my household in a little while, but hopefully my kids will be toddlers by the time I go back. I don't want to deal with infants again. Cletus over here making some bananas, fried banana peels. I can respect it. I love y'all. Peace. That was amazing. <laughs> All of those long, hard hours of working definitely pay off. I see that. I see that. Sunny Daniel Enterprises.